uh, I'm not going to talk about literary criticism, but I'm going to uh, discuss about the time travel and I'm going to discuss it in length and I have not prepared any presentation or uh, PowerPoint or anything, but things are stuck in my head and I need to reveal it in this lecture, which in fact is an extempore one. I'm not going to use include uh, the mathematical equation, but I will make sure if those e e equations are to be said, I will make sure that I'm going to communicate with you all with as simple as possible now I don't know from where to start because uh, if you go by Albert Einstein's theory of relativity then you are going to know that space and times are interconnected that means when I will when I will be telling about time travel that I am also talking about uh, time and space travel but if you exclude the Albert Einstein's theory of relativity, whether it is general or special, then time is separated from the space. That means time has nothing to do with the space. Space is the place where I am right now. In the directional and geographical sense of meaning, space is anything where a person can be or where a thing can be, where there is a sense of weight, where anything which is accommodated by the length breadth height is considered to be space okay if you go by the general theory of relativity through that time travel is going to be space and time travel so when i'm going from point a to point b the time spent in those journey is not considered to be time travel because i am going corresponding to the laws of physics on which the time is meant to pass that means uh, the, the time which has been covered for me to go from point a to point b is the time taken and in order to travel time that you have to break or you have to uh, go beyond the speed of time that means the speed on which the time moves only then you can consider of traveling time Okay. Another phenomenon is the language which is responsible for making different facets of time comes to life. In our sense of using language, time is always considered as past and present and future. This is the present moment and the future is going to be the past after a moment. So each moment that is passing is going to categorize under the past and the coming future which is about to come is going to be past after some moment. So this coming second is going to be the present and oh it has become past. And this past, present and future is basically the production of the language. It is the language, it is the English grammar which actually is creating this illusion called past, present and future. We are, we get caught under the language only because, because of which we are giving value to those idea called past present and future but if you remove the language from our culture from our civilization if you can look at something without without you without the necessity without the need of communicating that idea through language then the existence of past present and future is going to disappear if you go by the english grammar if you are going to know there is a verb there is a noun so a noun needs to do something and the tense is the time on which the word or the verb has action has been committed in the english grammar with the help of tense they validate they secure the existence or the meaning of past present and future if you remove the language then the very identity very existence of past present and future are going to be disappeared are going to collapse okay so one thing is clear that the existence of past present and future are nothing but illusion which is in our head if you remove the language the only thing that is there is the present because we have mind it start recording as a memory and which we referred through the language as past and we hope anticipate it with a word or a concept called future so future is found only in the language and everything whether it is past present future time everything is been processed everything is been put in order in our head in our brain with the help of language 
so language up to some extent is responsible for uh, the existence of the idea called past present and future okay 